What is good, guys? Today we're going to be talking about the news that broke earlier today. Wasn't that really big time breaking news, but um, it did happen. Um, the Atlanta Falcons deciding to release quarterback Marcus Mariota. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is really shocking move to anyone who knows anything about football and has been following the NFL this year. Um, Marcus Mariota stepped away from the team at the end of the year. Nobody um, assumed that when he was signed this past off season that he was going to be here for a long time or even a couple years, really. Um, you know, a lot of people at first, they question the move. Um, why would you sign Marcus Mariota, who, well, let's face it, he, he was a backup before they signed him. I mean, let's just take a look back at uh, Marcus Mariota's career. So, he's a star at Oregon. Uh, he leads Oregon all the way to the national championship. Uh, they end up losing in the national championship to Cardale Jones in Ohio State uh, in the first season of the college football playoff era. Um, but still, he's a star. He goes second overall in the 2015 draft. And the Titans take him, and the Titans wait and wait for him to develop, and he just never really develops. Um, great athlete, but he's kind of all over the place with his passing. He's never been very accurate. I mean, even this year, low 60s in completion percentage. Um, and, you know, he also had a little bit of an injury problem. Um, he wasn't injury prone like a Carson Wentz or a Tua, but like a Jimmy Garoppolo. Like, I mean, Jimmy Garoppolo's one injury away from being a guy who can never stay healthy, who's injury prone all the time. And that's what Mariota was um, before he ended up getting benched. And then to get to that, uh, his fifth year, uh, the Titans acquire Ryan Tannehill. Uh, the veteran quarterback from the Dolphins. And they bring him in sort of to push Mariota. Um, but Mariota eventually, he just never gets better and they give up on him. He gets benched and it's Tannehill's team. Well, it's been Tannehill's team ever since. I mean, they could move off Tannehill. That's a whole different story and video. But yeah, ever since, you know, that happened, Tannehill's been their quarterback. And Mariota served as the backup the rest of the year. Um... Then he signs with the Raiders that following off season. Let's be honest, Mario didn't have a market. Nobody wanted him. That's why he ended up backing Derek Carr on the Raiders. Um, he was only there a couple years, um, but you know didn't see a lot of playing time. And a lot of people were confused when the Falcons signed him this past off season. Um, but you know, it sort of made sense why the Falcons signed him. I mean, first of all, they weren't paying him anything. Um, also, a lot of people believe that Atlanta was tanking, um, and that they were going to be like a bottom three team in the league. Um, but yeah, they thought that that was the goal. They, everyone thought Atlanta was tanking. Nobody expected them to be as competitive as they were. Um, because everyone thought that this quarterback class was going to be like an all-time great quarterback class. I mean, people weren't just viewing Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, Will Levis, and Anthony Richardson. Um, as first round picks. I mean, you were considering guys. I saw early mock drafts. I'm a huge mock draft guy, and I saw early mock drafts where Tyler Van Dyke, I don't even know if any of you guys know who that is, he, the quarterback from Miami, uh, and then guys like Sam Hartman uh, were being viewed as potential first round picks. Uh, Tyler Van Dyke didn't play well at all this year. Um, he played at the University of Miami and or Miami University I'm not sure which one it is but you know Miami ACC Mario Cristobal but anyways yeah Tyler Van Dyke he got benched I don't think he ever came back um Sam Hartman uh was inconsistent at times at Wake Forest he ended up transferring to Notre Dame this offseason um Anthony Richardson he's still raw he didn't have a good statistical season anyway Will Levis didn't have that great of a season. It's really just Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud, to be honest with you. Um, but, yeah, 
So Atlanta actually ends up taking Desmond Ritter, Cincinnati quarterback who uh, played in the playoff game against Alabama. They take him in one of the middle rounds, um, and eventually they decide to go with him over Mariota. And, yeah, I mean, outside of, I mean, Mariota's had some good plays here, some there. I mean, he obviously had that incredible playoff touchdown where he hits the guy's helmet and he catches it, runs it in himself. Um, and he'll give you moments, but, you know, you can't just give a team moments. You know, you got to give him moment after moment. That's why Mahomes is so great. Amazing play after amazing play after amazing play. And the same with Burrow and Herbert and all these other elite quarterbacks. They give you amazing play after amazing play after amazing play. Um, Mariota gives you, like, one amazing play. And then, like, three months later, another amazing play. And then five months later, another amazing play. And that's why, that's what separates star quarterbacks from backup quarterbacks in the NFL. Um, where do I see Mariota from here? You know, he'll have a market as a backup. I don't think that's a shock to anyone that he's going to be a backup quarterback. If he just continues to play in the league next year, he will be a backup. Um, not sure where. Uh, he's, he's definitely one of the best backup quarterbacks in the league, I can tell you that. I mean, I'd feel comfortable, you know, if my star quarterback went down and I had him on the bench uh, that w and he was able to come in. So, yeah, I don't know where Mariota ends up. Wherever it is, he's going to be a backup. Um, but, yeah, best of luck to the kid. Or I guess he's not a kid. He's a, he's going into year nine, I want to say. Yeah, year nine. <sighs> yeah, because 2015 draft. Wow, it makes me feel old. I haven't watched in football that long. Wow. But, uh, anyways, yeah, that's basically going to wrap it up on this video, talking about Marcus Mariota getting released today by the Atlanta Falcons. Um, quick side note before I wrap up this video. Uh, I'm amazed at where the channel's going. I, I can't believe, I mean, I, I blinked, I had to look twice when I uploaded my videos um, last night and then I didn't check how many views they got all day. They normally only get like several views, seven to 10 views. I'm lucky if I get double digit views to be honest on any of my videos. And you know, I look earlier today at the Patrick Mahomes video and I see 64 views. I was like, what? I mean, I, I was shell shocked and hasn't even been 24 hours since I uploaded that. I'm getting likes on it, I'm getting comments on it. I've got like 120 views. My subscribers, I had no subscribers I think last night, now I got five. Granted, one, one's my dad, but, 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 so let's just say still four subscribers. I mean, that's a lot for me, just starting this out. Um, I'm honored. I'm glad that I'm not doing this just for kicks and giggles. I'm, a I'm actually talking to an audience now. It puts more pressure on me, but I don't care. But anyways, um, yeah, I hope you guys continue. It motivates me to put out more content when I know people are actually watching it, interacting with my videos. So thank you guys for that. And uh, yeah, keep it up. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and yeah, more content throughout the week and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.